All right, let's open PyCharm and start uh, coding our very first Python prog program. So you go to your program and just type in PyCharm. And this is the uh, code editor that you would get. Uh, you know, I can uh, go and start a new project. This is the very first uh, this is the very first page that you would see. And at the very first uh, uh, field, I have to define where I want to create my project and come up with a name. So you can see that this is the location where it's going to save my project. So I'm going to call it uh, uh, first Python project. Uh, you can call it whatever you want and then just create it. Uh, and I just create a new window. So this is, uh, this is going to be uh, the new project and uh, the Python file uh, is going to be, uh, you know, main.py. Uh, main this is the uh, file that I would be working with. So just uh, clear it and then let's just start coding in Python. The beautiful thing about Python is that it is extremely uh, uh, close to plain English. So uh, you can just jump right into it. And uh, you remember that uh, when we were co coding through the uh, command prompt, uh, we wrote our first program that was, uh, uh, you know, just a printing of, uh, hello, this is uh, my first Python program. So now let's try it here. So we just go ahead and type in print, which is a command uh, understood by Python. And uh, you put whatever you want to print on the screen within the quotation mark. So we say, uh, Hello, this is my first Python program. Uh, and once you have it, you can go to the menu, click on the run and choose run main, or alternatively, you can just click on shift uh, and F10 and it would run for you. And this is where uh, Python produces the output, you know, down here. Now uh, let's, uh, Let's uh, use some other examples. Uh, suppose that you want to write a program that asks the year of your birth and then tells you how old you are based on the year of your birth. So I'm going to delete this. And this is, uh, this is how uh, we do it. Uh, you have to use a function called input to uh, receive data from the user. So you just type in input. And then uh, in order to interact with the user, you can type in a message that is just going to be shown on the screen to the user. So you're going to ask the user, uh, what is your, uh, your date of birth? And the result of that input function is going to be saved into a variable, which here you're going to call it birth underscore year, right? So birth year basically is a variable that is equal to whatever user enters here. Right? Uh, now, one thing that you have to uh, know when you're working with Python is that the output of the input function is always a string, uh, meaning that it is something like what is your date of birth? right? It is characters, or even though the user may enter it as, uh, as uh, numbers. So what you have to do, if you want to do any mathematical calculations on it, uh, is to convert that string into an integer or float, uh, or float format. So you can uh, do that by simply typing in int, open parenthesis, Put the whole input what is your date of birth command within the parenthesis and close it. So basically in this line of code, the Python program is going to ask what is your date of birth. The user will enter something uh, that is originally going to be in the string format. Then there is another function that operates on top of it and is going to convert the string input into a 
uh, into an integer input so that we can perform mathematical uh, mathematical functions on it. And then what is the mathematical function? The mathematical function is going to be 2021 minus birth year, right? So this is going to be uh, the age of the user, right? This year that we are creating this program is 2021. So the difference between the year 2021 and the year of uh, the birth of the user is going to be his or her age. And you're going to uh, put that into a variable called age. And remember, there is no semicolons or anything. And the other thing to know about Python is that it is case sensitive. So uh, it really matters if you type in something in capital letters or not. Uh, so may, be, be uh, careful of that. And then uh, the other thing is uh, now we can go ahead and print. So we can say your, uh, or can say you are, then, uh, and then remember that you are is in quotations. Then I uh, add the uh, add sign in order to add something within the print. And then I would say age, then I would say plus years old, right? So let's take a look at here. So basically what I want to do is to create a string and then print it on the string that says you are whatever the value of this age variable is, then years old, all right? <clears throat> so that is done with uh, the plus sign in, uh, in the print uh, within the, uh, you know, when you have the quotations and then plus and then uh, uh, whatever variable that you want to write and then and then the and then the uh, uh, other part of the string. Now, uh, just like the input function, which will create an output in the string format, uh, you have to uh, be careful when you're using the print because print is going to need the variables to be in the string format. Whereas here, what you have is a integer format. Why? Because age uh, is the difference between 2021, which is an integer, and birth year, which we already transformed into an integer variable. Therefore, uh, the result is an integer variable. And then if we come and put it here without any changes, then we're going to get an error. So what do we have to do? We have to uh, use a function that reverses uh, the integer function. So we're going to use str. Uh, what does str do? str converts any integer or float variable into a string variable, okay? Uh, and then, so that is the first thing. The other thing is that uh, I'm going to add a space here uh, so that the output is going to look nice. Now, let's run this and see what we get. So here, you see that what is your date of birth? And you can see that it is because of this uh, very uh, first command that we have input here. So I'm going to interact with the program now and say 1984. And then you see that the program writes you are 37 years old. So this is our second Python program.